One person is dead following a shooting in southwest suburban Erland Park. This happened not too far from Andrew High School. Nate Rogers is following this investigation live in Erland Park. Nate, what can you tell us at this hour? Good evening to both of you. This is indeed heartbreaking for the victim's family. What I can tell you is we did just speak to um, an aunt of the victim within the last 10 minutes or so. She told us that her niece is not even from this area. She actually lives in Chicago and is um, and works for the post office. We're told her relatives are wondering why she was out here in the suburbs in the first place. But first, I want you to take a look at her picture. The victim has been identified by relatives as 28 year old Michelle. Williams, again, a postal worker and mother of three. Her youngest child, we're told, is less than one years old. Now, we're still waiting to hear more specifics from Orland Park Police about the shooting. We know it happened late last night as the young mother was sitting in a car. It happened last night around midnight here in the 100 block of Red, but Orland Park Police tell us the killer fled the area following the shooting. Here's more from the victim's aunt on how family members are struggling to figure out exactly what happened to their loved one. This is not something that's just going to go away or not be solved. Mm -hmm. Like somebody did something to my niece. Precious work for the post office. She not a street person, so this needs to get solved. I mean, cause it's, I mean. When, when was the last time that you all heard from her? My family talked to her. She talked to somebody in the family every single day. Mm -hmm. So we don't know who she was with. That's what we're trying to find out. Mm -hmm. Orland Park need to find out. Mm -hmm. This is not something that's just finna get brushed under the rug and not be solved. And we're told all of this happened inside of these Orland Hills um, or the Orland Ridge townhomes that you see right behind me. We were able to speak with a resident over there who says that the townhomes opened in 2021. He says there's not a lot of crime over there. The last word that we received from the Orland Park Police was that this remains an active investigation and there is no immediate threat to the community here. Of course, we'll continue to follow the story, keep you updated on air and online. We're live in the South Suburbs. Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago.